More than 90,000 miles of streams lace the natural state, from the mighty Arkansas River to small creeks you can jump across. Free-flowing rivers are the lifeblood of wild places, providing food and habitat to a multitude of both aquatic and terrestrial plant and animal species. Rivers are also the source of more than two-thirds of our nation's drinking water. Here in Arkansas, more than 9,000 dams and road-related barriers are altering the flow of our streams. But the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission and its conservation partners are breaking down some of those barriers and restoring streams to a more natural state. A lot of these dams that were built historically for agricultural purposes, industrial purposes, road crossings, transportation purposes, a lot of them are obsolete now, not needed anymore, uh, or the, the dam owners have vacated the property. It's left us with a lot of failing infrastructure or unneeded infrastructure in the form of barriers across our streams. Two of the most important things we can do are protecting streams that are still ecologically intact and reestablishing the natural flow of others. For the last decade or so, we've noticed that we're getting more and more of these projects coming to us where these old obsolete dams, low head dams, stream crossings are failing and people are coming to us asking for help. And as natural resource managers, we needed to kind of get together on this issue. We formed the Arkansas Stream Heritage Partnership and our whole focus is to have all of us in the state together talking on the same page and working on these projects. So now when a, a dam removal project comes up from say a, a willing dam owner that wants to get rid of this structure in a stream, uh, now we have sort of this statewide partnership of communication and cooperation that we can help each other with these projects. Um, these projects are big and they're expensive and they're technical. And so we need all, all the heads at the table we can get to look at the situation together and work together, funding, technical expertise, the restoration of the stream. So the Stream Heritage Partnership is now serving that function. Dam removal projects are already underway on the Maumel River, Rockhouse Creek, and Mine Creek. We are actually removing a low water crossing on the Maumel River. We bought a piece of property that was a former sod farm and it had four of these low water crossing structures that were used for access and irrigation. They're doing the right thing, removing those dams, restoring the free flowing stream habitat, which is good for our mussels, fish, crayfish, all of our aquatic fish and wildlife habitat. Central Arkansas Water being a water utility, natural resource management isn't our usual top priority. Though over time we've recognized that our source waters are our number one asset. When it comes to expertise and partnerships, we really rely heavily on state partnerships with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, the Arkansas Natural Heritage Commission, and others to implement projects across the landscape and rely on their expertise to help us through that process. So an example of, of how this benefits fish and wildlife and, and our anglers specifically is uh, the Lake Maumelle downstream has a huge white bass population. White bass run up rivers to spawn. This is an obstruction to that run. Now they'll be able to run more miles upstream, have more spawning habitat, and anglers will be able to access white bass in other reaches of the stream where they couldn't before. All these partnerships come together with one common goal, and that is to help us protect our drinking water sources and have an ultimately cleaner environment. Finding stream barriers sometimes takes getting a bird's eye view. Actually, it's more like a spacecraft view. Cat Hankey, a spatial ecologist who works with the Southeast Aquatic Resources Partnership, was eyeballing satellite images from her office in Maryland when she spotted a white crescent-shaped mass across the mouth of Mine Creek, deep in the Washita Mountains at the Shady Community, southeast of Mena. The multi-agency partnership removed it on January 20th, 2020, so Mine Creek and the Cossatot River could meet unimpeded. The project was a priority because it opened up six miles of the Cossatot's tributary and because previous restoration work along the creek. This stream restoration project on Rockhouse Creek, a major headwater tributary of the popular Kings River, removed a low water road crossing that essentially cut off the creek flow 
and it also restored the creek to its historic floodplain through creation of an entirely new channel for several hundred yards. This project, you know, had three main focus area, focal areas, which were public safety, uh, the health of the Kings River from sediment reduction standpoint, and fish passage to open up a large amount of creek habitat that currently didn't exist. Your fish in the Kings River, the smallmouth and a lot of your daughters or stone rollers and stuff like that, will use these intermittent streams in the spring and they will go up in them and they'll spawn. Well, we had a fish passage barrier here. So on this creek alone, on Rock House Creek, they couldn't come up and spawn. This is a really good creek. It gives them over a mile that they, could, that they can swim up and stream before they get to another barrier. This has been extremely gratifying. So this project started four years ago. So it took us years to develop the funding, the partnerships to get this on the ground. And to be able to go from a concept where you, you're driving by and looking at a section of creek which looks like there's nothing you could do to fix it and be able to restore it to a way that is not only you know aesthetically beautiful for people but it works extremely well as habitat for fish and it just feels good like if you sit down by this creek and you listen to it it gives you a, you know a really positive feeling the Arkansas Stream Heritage Partnership is help, here to help willing dam owners that need help getting a barrier out of a stream. Um, it's, all, it's all voluntary. Um, it's opportunistic. Uh, when, when, when a dam needs to come out, we're not trying to force anybody to remove any structures from streams. We're here to help the situation and get it done right when the opportunity arises.